hello friends what's going on so here i am with my new video in this video i am going to show you an android application which is very helpful for programmers it is freely available in play store and you can download it from there so let's go to the app here you can see we have the app decoder so let's open it first of all i will like to tell you that uh, to run the decoder you need an active internet connection without an internet connection the app will not run so this is our editor as you can see so first of all i will explain the side menu so here you can see i have been connected to my gmail account in in this app so first of all we have code now so in the code now if we click there it directs us to the editor i will come to this part later then we have algo yo in this part we have some questions based on levels like easy medium and hard so we can solve it and let's click on our question here we have a question reverse the link list so at the bottom we can see an option saying solve it so if we click on solve it it redirects us to the editor as, as i said i will come to this part later so this is the ad as you can see so now we have leaderboard so this leaderboard is the option in where you can check that in what level you you are standing as you can see i there is a something written under my name that is xp10 so what is this xp so as as i show you showed you that uh, this there are some questions um, based on levels so solving this this questions if this pass the test cases then you will be given xps or you will earn xps according to the test cases so this leaderboard shows you that uh, in which position you are standing amongst the other decoder users according to the xp so next we have gopro uh, this gopro is an option to upgrade our decoder app <coughs> so that um, no ads interfere be between our editing and uh, all stuffs so now we have about in about you can see we have the details about this um, a, 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 this app or editor so next we have settings in settings you can change the fonts etc stuffs and then we have faqs and help in this part you can find frequently asked questions or any help about the app how to run it etc feedback in fee feedback you can provide some in summary reviews etc regarding the app then we have share app which you can share this with your friends then we have rate the app that is you can rate it in play store and then we have log out and exit so lo log out option will take you out of your account and exit will close this app so now let's come to the editor first of all you can see we have a language pre preference here that is now presently my language preference is set is set to python as you can see if you click on it we have a lot of language pre preferences here like c c++ c sharp java python and all 
so my language preference set to python and at the bottom you can see there is a tab where you can see all the frequently used operators like brackets less than greater than sign slashes plus minus at the rate etc which we frequently use in our code so instead of taking them from our mobile keyboard we can use it from the below tab itself so let's write a code let's print hello world Print hello world so now <clears throat> we need to run it so you can see at the bottom we have a green or we can say a blue circle with a triangle on, on it so we, if we click on it our program runs I'm saying again if you are not having an active internet connection the app will not open so here our um, program runs it prints hello world so next we have this in so if you have a program if you have written a program which is to take input from the user so in this application you can't provide the user uh, user input at runtime you have to pro provide the user input before you run the um, program so let's write a code which takes user input so let's write a factorial code so let's num so let's import the code from I, I have done it pre previously so I have this factorial code here so in this I have to take a number which will and the output will be uh, the factorial of that num number so to take input we have to click on this input bar which will on which will make this on and now we have to type here our input let's say 5 and then press ok and now we have to press the run button see it gives our factorial that is 120 so this is how we run our um, program which is to take user in input and another part is if we have to give multiple inputs in, in our code then we have to um, write like say we have to give inputs 5 4 and 3 so we as you can see it's written for multiple input use new line so for 5 4 and 3 if we want to give it as user input so first we have to, we have to write 5 then press enter to the new line then 4 then press enter to the new line then 3 <coughs> it will take as 3 inputs but if you print it as 5 4 3 it will take as a single in input so let's go to the next now we have this eraser button this is an eraser button if we click on it our editor is clean fully cleared and then we have undo button which will undo the tasks you have done just now undo then we have just erased the editor so undo button brought that back and if we and next is redo if we press redo then it is deleted again the task is done again so and now only two options are left that is at the rightmost that is the save button if you click on it it will say save file um, if you want to save your pro program that you have 
written here in your memory then you can press this button and here you have to give your name program name and this is the storage where the file will be saved then then you press ok and your file will be saved and if you want to bring the program back to your editor you will click this option beside the save button click on it and you can see the programs you have saved then you have to click on it and the program will appear on your editor so friends this was an application which is very helpful for programmers they can code here anytime they want so please like this video if you really li like this app and please don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video thanks for watching